I got some Gobi lights, and we are using Gobi lights with our EcoFlow power kit right here. This is a power hub. They got the AC DC distribution panel right here. This is getting AC outputs that go to all of our six AC circuits. We're using these power strips to represent the AC circuits one through six. We also have DC outputs right here. One of them is wired to our fan. So if we wanted to, we can go to our DC right here, that fan right here. We can turn on and off the fan. See the fan's off and the light's off right here. We can turn back the fan. There we go. We are getting power input from our, our, our um, shore power, 1.6 kilowatt that's coming in from the shore power right now. We are connected to solar. If you can look right here, solar is 0.1 amp, 13.6 Volt, so very low power solar, but we're still going to install our Gobi lights because these lights are awesome. So we can pick any circuit we want right here. All these circuits are controlled by these right here. So in fact, I can show you right now with circuit one. This is connected to circuit one right now. And you can see this, that little light right there. If I turn this off, you can see the light turns off right there. So if I turn this back on, boom we have the light back here. So if I connect the Gobi lights right here, you can see that they will power on. So our Gobi lights are on, and you can see if I do turn this off, we will lose power on the Gobi lights, boom. And if I want to turn back on, boom, there we go. Lights on in three, two, one. Oh yeah. So these are our Gobi lights. We can install them in our tiny home because why not, right? All right, so we can attach the lights right here or let's just go ahead and put it on right underneath our console right there next to our 12 volt fan right here that is powered by the EcoFlow. And then we have the other lights. Maybe we'll put it up on top over here. So we got some colorful lights right there. So yeah, we got the EcoFlow power kit with the lights and everything. And the cool thing about everything with the EcoFlow power kit is you have an app. So this app right here tells you all the same information. 1.6 kilowatt, and we have six and a half hours before it's fully charged. And we're only charging at 15 amps. If I wanted to charge faster, I could. But right now, I just want to limit the system to 15 amps because uh, I don't want to stress our grid power right now. But anyway, if I wanted to, I can even use this app to obviously turn off the AC circuits right here. If I turn off the AC circuits, you'll see these lights turn off, but the fan will continue to run. See, AC off, boom. The lights are off, but the fan continues to run. I can turn off the fan, boom, like that, and the fan will turn off. I can turn back on the light, and the lights will turn on in just a few seconds because the Gobi takes a second to kick on. Uh, the lights will show up in just a few moments in three, two, one. There we go, we have the lights. The fan's off, turn on the fan, boom. There we go, the fan's spinning, and this is the EcoFlow power kit with the power hub right there, the AC-DC distribution box right there, the EcoFlow console over here, the EcoFlow app on my phone, and of course, one, two, three. These are five kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Three of them gives me 15 kilowatt of power. This is the ultimate solution, and you see all these are different AC circuits, so we will officially be able to power microwaves, refrigerators, AC, fans, hair dryers, lots of stuff. We're gonna cook a meal in our tiny home, and it's all thanks to the power of the EcoFlow power kit with the power hub and all the distribution of the power through all of our circuits right here. This system is just awesome.